confidence, a sense of belonging, self-assurance, to have a voice, level-headed, to deal with my struggles, to have a family, to express my feelings, to express my anger, to express my attitude. <laughs> These are the words of youth in Atlanta, Georgia, who are involved in a positive youth development organization that uses dance to transform lives. And my role is to measure the transformation. Dance transformed my life. When I was younger, I was different. I felt inadequate. I was terrorized by my sister. And then one day, I was watching Soul Train. And I thought, I must dance. I got to dance. Mom, can I be on Soul Train? I was placed in a ballet class. I fell in love, and my life began to positively transform. My love for evaluation began as I lost my job as a dance therapist in the hospital due to funding. I found myself enrolled in a doctoral counseling psychology program, and I thought, I got to make a change. Got to do it fast. And on the way out of the building one day, because I was still moonlighting for the youth development program that I helped develop, Sharnee, can you help me figure out how to measure the impact of the program? And that was the challenge that I needed to begin to explore the impact of dance. As I began to explore how dance impact lives, I realized that many of the students in my program were a lot like me. They needed a safe place to transform, to find their authentic self. Our program is different. We are involved in our students' lives. Each class begins with a check-in, and each student is allowed to express how they feel. Issues such as bullying, peer pressure, and anger are often the themes of our check-in. And those themes are developed into movement phrases. And each class ends with sunshine, a giving and receiving of positive affirmation. Program architect, collaborator, dance therapist. Before I began evaluating the program, I worked closely with the co-founder to develop the program curriculum. I suggested the positive youth development model, which is a research-based framework that aims to cultivate competencies empowerment, and a sense of belonging in children. For 20 years, our class structure, our program activities and goals have been anchored in the positive youth development model. Evaluation is integrated into all of our program, and the purpose of the evaluation is to measure the impact of the program on the student's self-confidence, self-concept, positive youth development goals, emotional and physical health, along with dance technique. The, the evaluation tools are administered in the pre- and post-test format. Pierce and Harris II, Developmental Access Profile, pro-social checklists, are used to measure self-confidence, self-concept, and the positive youth development goals. The modern dance assessment is used to measure learned dance technique. And the participation feedback survey measures the students, their parents, the teachers' perception of how the program impacts their behavior. In our recent year, 
over 90% of the students reported that the program helped them set goals, show concern for others, avoid drugs, find alternatives to violence, and work harder at school. I cannot live without data, results, transformation. I hate racism. Status quo, stereotypes. I love challenges, maximizing opportunities, positive youth development. Let me introduce you to Keisha. Keisha began our program when she was very young. She appeared self-confident, hardworking, with a people-pleasing spirit. As she transitioned into middle school, I noticed that her Pearson Harris scores were decreasing. I also noticed that every time her father would drop her off for dance, she would be crying. Eventually, Keisha disclosed to us that her father encouraged her to befriend his girlfriends. So when he physically abused them, she was a part of the makeup process. And then one day, her mother came in and requested a therapy referral. And her father was no longer able to pick her up. This past year, Keisha has become a leader in our program, and as we partnered with the One Billion Rising Movement to End Violence Against Women, she taught the flash mob to everybody and anybody who showed up for rehearsal. On February 14th, Keisha stood on the steps of the Georgia State Capitol and told her story of how abuse had impacted her life and her Pearson Harris stores had positively aligned with the positive shifts that occurred in her life. Our students come from challenging situations, poverty, single parent homes, and abuse. However, they are resilient, and I am honored to witness their resilience from a cocoon of challenge to a resilient butterfly. And the program results? are in parallel process with their transformation. I noticed something else, that the longer the student stays in our program, the higher their self-confidence, the higher their self-concept, and the youth development goals are. Therefore, they're better equipped to problem solve and become successful citizens. Large transformations like Keisha's occur throughout the years. However, small transformations occur in every dance class. Over 51% of Georgia's youth do not graduate on time. 100% of our teen dance members graduate on time, go on to college, vocational school, or the military. Approximately 30% of our alums return to the program, teach in our classes, serve on the board, and volunteer. And they are making a difference. 20 years of positive youth development through the art of dance. Be the change you want to see in the world. And make a difference. <laughs>